Good afternoon brothers and sisters and uh, this is Sister Susie. Today I'm going to share with you guys two dreams that the Lord gave me. Uh, one yesterday and then the other one is, is today. So I'm going to begin. So it began like this. It was like a group of us were in this uh, remote area. It was uh, a group of us at dawn. Uh, we looked like we were training. And um, in this remote area, there was no houses, but the land was so beautiful and there was mountains and um, not only mountains, but also there was uh, um, just very clean roads. And so we had what appeared to be like motor bicycles, some kind of vehicles, but they looked like motor bicycles. And we would, each person had one, and we would train to uh, ride those bicycles, motor bicycles, at a very fast rate, like a very fast rate. So we had to train. We had to practice that. And I remember one guy that was training with us in that remote area was um, Brother Robert from Sharing the Gifts channel. And he was there. He was uh, he was training with us all. And so that's the first part. And so after, it looked like it was nighttime. After we were done, we looked up in the sky. And I tell you, I, we saw this most beautiful, beautiful sky. The entire sky was filled up with stars. I mean, they were just, I mean, there was no like, just like this picture you're seeing here. It was like that. Like there was no place that... There was no uh, star at all. Like it was just filled up with stars all over the place, and uh, some were in clusters, and some were, you know, uh, just there. But all of them had some kind of a brightness to them, and um, and it was an awesome sight to behold. You guys never seen stars like that. And as we are looking up in the sky, I heard, I heard the Holy Spirit speaking to me. And the, uh, the Holy Spirit said, gathering stars, gathering stars. So, and so that part ended. But I remember when I had first begun to receive messages from the Lord, the very first words from the Holy Spirit that I had heard was, the Lord had, uh, the Spirit had told me that, get ready for the gathering winds. And at that time, I never understood what gathering winds were or was. I, I had no idea. I had no clue. And so today uh, I saw these beautiful stars and they said, the Holy Spirit said, gathering stars. So, you know, so I was reminded of that scripture in the Matthew 24. You can see this scripture is Matthew 24 and it talks about verse number, um, I had highlighted it, verse number 31 verse number 31 over there and it says and he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other so in in the dream the holy spirit said gathering stars so who you know that maybe the lord is saying that these are the angels they've been or uh, they've been put stationed in their places to gather his elect from the four winds of the of heaven to the other i'm just reporting to you guys what i saw and i saw the the holy spirit called them gathering stars so this says they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other praise the lord so you know that in that time is coming up where the lord will gather his elect from the four winds of heaven to the other and us as Christians, we're supposed to be ready every single day, praying. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Keep praying. Keep seeking the Lord because that day is coming. The gathering stars are coming to, to get his elect, you know, from the four winds of heaven to, and, you know, uh, from the four corners of the earth. And so another one that I also had a reference of those, um, the shining stars was Daniel chapter 12. And it says, and they... Sh and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. 
And so that's another reference where we're seeing that the stars, the brightness of the stars, of the firmament, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. We praise God. So, and so another dream that I had, uh, this was yesterday. Um, I'm just going to use the same picture. The same uh, day I had a dream whereby I was in a classroom. I was in a classroom. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to continue. So uh, the next uh, part was that I found myself like um, I was in the classroom and there was a teacher. Well, I was going into the classroom. So um, so the classroom, there was a late already students in the classroom sit it down. And uh, the teacher was, uh, she was teaching, she was standing in the front. So as I'm entering the classroom, the teacher then says that, Oh, she calls me by my sister's name. And I, I corrected her. I said, no, I'm Susie. So, and then she said, okay. She showed me, she gave me a paper. And on that paper, she said, do you want to know when we're going to finish school? I, don't, I think maybe she said school or the class that she was teaching, but it was something to do with, um, sorry guys. So it was something to do with uh, the cl uh, finishing the class or the school. And so, she, so she wrote on the page, a paper, she wrote the number 27. And then she said, weeks. Now, it's not 27 weeks, you know, but it is a parable that, you know. Okay, so she wrote the number 27 and then she, uh, um, and then space weeks. So the, I said 27 but, but what she meant, I understood. In the dream, I understood that this is a parable. She said, this is when we're going to finish the school. Now, you guys, you can take it to the Lord and pray. I don't know what it means. But from my understanding, I felt like maybe the weeks represent the festival of weeks, which is Shavuot. And the number 27 is the number 27. Maybe it's about, you know, the 7, 7, 49. It could be that as well. Um, the seven, seven, meaning like the 49 count, you know, 49 days of counting of the Omer, which could be seven, seven, maybe then that's why she wrote 27, but it's something to do with the festival of weeks. Now that's my understanding. Now, the other thing that, uh, the Lord showed me, no, that was, that was the end of that dream. Uh, let me see. Sorry, you guys, this video, it's just, <clears throat> I'm just doing it right now, like, you know, I'm speaking and I'm getting distracted quite a bit, but so bear with me. This is the only time I have to do this video today. Um, so, um, then today's dream, I, uh, I dreamed that we were, uh, we had gone somewhere, we were in a car driving a bunch of us, and as we are coming, going back home, something happened. And I believe what this happened, I, I didn't see uh, any bomb. I didn't, I didn't see the bomb. But all I uh, saw was that there was chaos as we were on the road. There was chaos suddenly and cars were crashing and um, people were being hurt. You know, I saw the police came and they were just rescuing people in the streets you know from their cars you know it just happened like the cars just crushed suddenly and uh, i thank god we were not hurt but all the cars stopped in even the our car was not crushed but it stopped it stopped working we couldn't use it any further we couldn't drive it any further and um and so we had to walk we had to walk the rest of the way going home and uh, we walking into all these fields until we reached home. But then uh, I kept on thinking, what caused that cars all of a sudden should stop? What caused that, you know, all these um, crashes to happen? I mean, there was just crashes all over the place in the streets. So, I mean, the, and the only reason that I came to could be the um, EMP. And that's the only way that can explain 
why our car couldn't work function anymore. We had to leave it right there at the at the on this road. Um, we it couldn't work. All the other cars were being were causing. There was so many accidents and there's so many accidents in the streets and people were hurt. Others were dead, and um, so the only reason, uh, only thing that made uh, made me to say, oh, what could that be? It could be maybe the EMP attack. So I don't know if the Lord is letting, is warning us about an EMP attack coming. So that's the only thing that can cause cars to stop functioning in the streets. And also, also yeah, did, he did show me electricity as well. Uh, as we were going, there was like uh, some parts, there was no electricity some parts there was there was electricity so i'm not sure if the if the emp was like in certain parts or maybe it was like you know it wasn't done at the same time like it would just m be moving from one area to the next i'm not sure but i did see electricity some areas did not have electricity i, sh I saw that and uh the other electricity were freckling as well so maybe they were in the process of being uh there was in the process of being attacked as well. So you see what I'm trying to say? But we had to walk the rest of the way. We had to walk by foot and we had to go home by foot because our car couldn't function and p many people were hurt. And so I just want to share this dream. Sorry for the many disturbances I have doing this video. Today we are actually celebrating my um, um, nephew's birthday. And so we're going to be busy in the afternoon. And I just wanted to share these two dreams that the Lord is letting us know that, you know, his coming is imminent. And also an EMP is coming, an EMP attack is coming. I wanted to share this to bless you, to encourage you, and to keep on the race until the day that our Lord Yeshua comes. May the Lord bless you and may uh, the Lord's light shine on you. And I love you guys. And until next time, this is Sister Susie. Bye-bye.